Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Today we're going to learn more about verbs, but also these from adjectives. But we're going to combine verbs and adjectives, so it's going to be something new as well. So I hope you like it. Let's start from some reviews. So do you remember how to say to eat? Taberu. Well, I eat sushi. You say sushi o taberu. We don't really say watashi, so we can omit it. And then object comes first, and then verb at the end, right? And o particle indicates what the object is in the sentence. So, so sushi o taberu. What about I'll have breakfast? So the word for meal or rice, we say gohan. Gohan. And breakfast, we say morning meal. And the word for morning is asa. So we say asa gohan for breakfast. So how do you say I will have, to, I will eat breakfast? Asa gohan o taberu. Asa gohan o taberu. And lunch, we say noon meal. And the word for noon is hiru. hiru. So can you guess how we say lunch? Hiru gohan. Hiru gohan. And dinner, maybe you can guess we say night meal. Do you remember how we say good evening? We say konban wa, right? Konban means tonight, this evening, right? So the word for evening we can use ban. So dinner would be ban gohan. Ban gohan. I eat breakfast would be Asa gohan o taberu. I eat lunch. Hiru gohan o taberu. I eat dinner. Ban gohan o taberu. What about the word to watch to look? Miru. Right? Miru. So how do you say I'll see a movie? Eika o miru. What about the word to sleep? Neru. Right? Neru. And the new word to teach is oshieru. Oshieru. So this is also er ending. We will learn why we must know if it's iru er ending or other. I'm gonna explain that later. But for now, just remember that it has er ending, right? So oshieru. So I teach Japanese. So Japanese should be the object. Right, so can you try to make the sentence? I teach Japanese. Nihongo o oshieru. Nihongo o oshieru. It's not weird that we repeat o twice, it's just normal. Nihongo o oshieru. What about the word to write? Kaku. Kaku. So how do you say I write a letter? Tegami o kaku. But I write kanji. Kanji? So, kanji o kaku. What about to drink? Nomu. Right, nomu nomu. Nomu. How do you say I drink tea? The word for tea is ocha. So, ocha o nomu. Ocha o nomu. To talk, to speak. Hanasu. Hanasu. Hana means flower or nose. Unfortunately, we don't use nose to talk. We use mouth, which is kuchi, but hanasu. So I speak Japanese. Again, Japanese is the object in this sentence. So, nihongo o hanasu. Nihongo o hanasu. But I speak English. Eigo hanasu. Eigo hanasu. What about to take? Toru. Right? Toru. And to take a picture. Shashin o toru. Shashin o toru. And the irregulars. To do. Suru. Right? Suru. And I didn't explain last time, but there are lots of verbs that have suru, but mean something different. So for example, to study, we say benkyo suru. Benkyo is a noun for a study. So benkyo suru literally means to do a study. It means to study. I will study Japanese, for example. 
Actually, if you want to say I'm studying Japanese, I've been studying Japanese, we would have to conjugate it. We say Nihongo benkyo shiteiru informally. Nihongo benkyo shiteimasu formally. We use a form called te form. But、uh, we're not going to do that now. But if you want to remember the phrase, because you may want to talk to your Japanese friend and say, I'm studying Japanese, then that's what you say. Nihongo benkyo shiteiru. Nihongo benkyo shiteiru. Or Nihongo benkyo shiteimasu. Anyways, benkyo suru is to study and to, to play tennis. We say to do tennis. Tennis is tennisu. Tennisu. So we say tennis o suru. Tennis o suru. To play football. If you mean soccer, then we say sakka o suru. If you mean American football, we say American football. But we usually say amefuto for short. So amefuto o suru. Or to play baseball. Baseball is a big thing in Japan. It's probably not in England or Canada. But it definitely is in Japan. The word for baseball is yaku, yaku, yaku o suru. And to play games, we also need suru. We say game suru, game suru. So easy, right? Okay, next one to come is kuru, kuru. But if you want to, for example, say, will you come tomorrow? Will you come here tomorrow? Then we say, ashita kuru. Ashita kuru. Ashita is the word for tomorrow. So now, if you want to say it's fun to do something or drawing is fun, then we'd have to combine verb and adjective.、Right? That's why we're going to review some adjectives. So, do you remember how do you say fun? Tanoshi, right? Omoshiroi. Is interesting or funny, so they are a bit different. If you want to say karaoke is fun, it's easy, right? We just say karaoke wa tanoshi desu formally, or karaoke wa tanoshi informally. What if you want to say singing is fun? Then we'd have to use a verb in the sentence, right? But unfortunately, it wouldn't be just utau wa tanoshi. But it's not that hard. We just put no after the verb utau. So we say utau no wa tanoshi. Singing is fun. Utau no wa tanoshi. This no is making a verb into a noun. So it's like in English, there is a verb to sing. But if you change Singing, so you add the ing thing. It kind of acts like a noun. You can't say sing is fun. You'd have to say singing is fun, right? So it's the same in Japanese. We also put this no thing there. We say utau no wa tanoshi. So karaoke wa tanoshi. Karaoke doesn't need no because it's a noun already.、So、you can just leave it like that. But utau no wa tanoshi. So you can do it for any verbs. So if you want to say dancing is fun, to dance is odoru, odoru, or dance suru. Odoru is a general word for to dance. But dance suru kind of makes people think you're doing hip hop or something. Or if you're in the club, maybe you say dance suru. But generally, we use odoru. So dancing is fun. So、again, dance to dance is odoru. But if you want to say dancing, what do we put? Odoru no, right? So odoru no wa tanoshi. Odoru no wa tanoshi. We we want that no particle is like the apostrophe s, like possessive particle. So for example, if you say watashi no pen, that means my pen, or Emma no neko. Emma's cat, but this time it's a bit different. No has several uses. So dancing is fun. Odoru no wa tanoshi, right? Odoru no wa tanoshi this formally. What if we want to say dancing is not fun? We don't do anything with odoru no. We just negate the word tanoshi. 
So, tamashi is an E adjective. So, do you remember how we negate? Tamashi kunai, right? Tamashi kunai. So, dancing is not fun. Can you try? Odoru no wa tamashi kunai. O odoru no wa tamashi kunai desu, formally. What about speaking Japanese is not easy? Or it's not easy to speak Japanese. In English, you can do two ways, but in Japanese is only one. But if you take a look at speaking Japanese is not easy, there are two sentences. So speaking Japanese and is not fun. First, let's do speaking Japanese. Yeah, I speak Japanese. We say object or verb. Nihongo o hanasu. Right, Nihongo o hanasu. So I said verbs always come at the end. It does in the first sentence. As the whole sentence, this would be the verb. So it's fine that it's in the middle of the sentence because it's not really in the middle. Still at the end, in the first part of the sentence. So, Nihongo o hanasu. Alright, and then if you want to change into speaking Japanese, we would have to do Nihongo o hanasu. No, right? And then we say is not easy. Do you remember how to say easy? Kantana, right? Again, we didn't put na because there is no noun following the word easy there. So we say kantan des, right? For it is easy. But if you want to say it's not easy, this is a na adjective. So do you remember how we do it? It's not kunai, unfortunately, but it's Janai, right? So we say kantan janai informally. Kantan janai des formally. Together, speaking Japanese is not easy. Would be Japanese speak easy not, right? So Nihongo o hanasu no wa kantan janai des. Let's try again. Nihongo o hanasu no wa kantan janai. Nihongo o hanasu no wa kantan janai desu. It seems really long, but actually now you know how to make this complicated. You just need to get used to it. What about a sentence like, it's important to have breakfast? So the word for important is 大事な or 大切な Let's use 大事な here It's important to have to eat, you say Eat breakfast Do you remember how we said breakfast? It's morning meal, right? So we say 朝ごはん So to eat breakfast Breakfast is the object to 朝ごはんを食べる right. Then let's make this into a noun We say it's 朝ごはんを食べるの And then is important So we say わ大事です So let's say it all together 朝ごはんを食べるのは大事です朝ごはんを食べるのは大事です I've met so many people who skip breakfast But I think a lot of Japanese people have breakfast It's really important 本当に大事です Okay, so do you remember how to say I like something? For example, I like anime it would be anime ga suki desu, right? Do you remember in the last lesson I explained that ga particle puts emphasis on what comes before ga, right? And here you want to say I like something so we use ga particle And what about I don't like da -da 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 -da. You say suki Janai desu. Right, suki janai desu. And I like, it's still a noun adjective, so suki desu would be suki deshita, formally. Suki datta, informally. And I didn't like, we changed suki janai into suki jana katta. Suki jana katta desu. That I didn't like. First, let's try I like studying. To study is 勉強する 
and study in the Benkyo Suru no, right? But just put ga suki desu. So, Benkyo Suru no ga suki desu. Benkyo Suru no ga suki desu. Well, I like to play games. To play games, we say game o suru, right? Game o suru. We say game o suru no ga suki desu. Game o suru no ga suki desu. Well, I like drawing. I like drawing a picture. So to draw, we use the same word as to write. That was kaku, right? Kaku. So to draw a picture, we say e o kaku. E o kaku. So if you don't put the e o, it can mean to write. If it's obvious from the context, you could just say kaku for drawing. But if it's not, then let's add L. So L kaku. So how do we make drawing a picture? L kaku no, right? And then let's add I like. L kaku no ga suki desu. L kaku no ga suki desu. What about I don't like drinking, drinking alcohol. So alcohol, we say. Osake. Sake in English refers to the specific Japanese wine, right? But sake, or normally we say osake, in Japanese refers to any alcohol beverages. So beer, wine, vodka, anything can be osake. So let's say osake to drink. O nomu, right? Osake o nomu. And I don't like. So suki des becomes suki janai des, right? So I don't like drinking alcohol. Would be osake o nomu no ga suki janai des. Osake o nomu no ga suki janai des. Well, but I used to like watching TV. So watching TV, we say. Terebi o miru no. Right? Terebi o miru no. I used to like, I like. So that's the past tense of suki desu. Suki deshita. So I used to like watching TV. Would be Terebi o miru no ga suki deshita. Terebi o miru no ga Suki deshita or suki datta informally. Well, I didn't like studying. It'd be benkyo suru no ga suki ja nakatta desu. Benkyo suru no ga suki ja nakatta desu. So, suki ja nakatta desu, if it seems too long, you can use the word to dislike, to hate, which is Kiraina, still not adjective, right? Kiraina, beautiful. Kiraina, I hate. So, kirai desu, and the past tense would be kirai deshita, right? So, you could say, I disliked, I hated studying, it would be benkyo suru no ga kirai deshita. So, it's not too bad, right? So, just remember verb no wa or ga adjective. I hope you like this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll do more sentence structures and particles. So please look forward to it. Okay, じゃあまたね!